This is just my daytime romp -um. It's like a romper, but it's more masculine. <laughs> Say, Karen, have I missed my window to ask why you got a monkey on your shoulder? It's your free scavenger hunt. A live monkey is worth 100 points. A live Kardashian is only worth 80. <laughs> I'm so glad there's gonna be so many cops at Vince's wedding because there's an NYPD badge on the list. I'm glad it's a gay wedding because I have anonymous daytime sex on my list. I was just about to ask Will what to wear, but is it bad luck to see the jilted lover on the day of his ex's wedding? Let's go to your apartment, put all your clothes out on the bed, and whatever the monkey doesn't throw his poop at, that's what you'll be in. <laughs> Just made it curly. You know, I've been up all night. I've had six cups of coffee, a five-hour energy, four Coke Zeros, and a partridge in a pear tree. Sweetie, you seem a little manic. Are you sure you want to go to this wedding? Because Vince said you didn't have to. What are you talking about? I gotta go. Happy to go. Vince's big day. Yay, Vince. You know, I thought I would feel sorry for me, but actually, I feel sorry for Vince. This guy he's marrying is a real snooze. I was looking at his social media all morning. I mean, first of all, he's a retweeter, so not an original thought in his head. And on, on Instagram, he's a food poster. And not just like meals, I mean like snacks. What? Okay. I know that something's wrong because you're over-plucking your eyebrows. You look like an extra on Orange is the New Black. What about you, Curly Sue? Ow! Oh, thank you. Look, am I surprised that Vince got over his commitment phobia with a guy he's known for nine months? Sure. And am I replaying the last weeks of our relationship so for, for clues that I might have missed? Yes. And does it make you wonder the real reason for, for our breakup, if it wasn't his fear of commitment? Well, of course. Didn't I just have a coffee here? It's in the cupboard, Gay Gardens. <laughs> what was I saying? You were telling a long lie about how fine you are with Vince's wedding. Look, I know that you want to know the real reason for the breakup, but there's no answer that's not gonna hurt you. Well, that's just not true. Okay, all right. What if he says that it's because he no longer found you attractive? or interesting, or fun to be around. Why would he say that? Did he say that to you? God, no. I work so hard to stay in shape. I never eat anything that I want. You know, I, I read, I have good anecdotes, and I, and I am fun. Like, for instance, whenever I see a dog, I'll say, hello, sir, what's your name? Please don't go to this wedding. You're right. I hate that you're right. I know you do. But trust me. I'll cover for you. I already have the perfect excuse. Just don't make it like vomiting or diarrhea. I'll think of the perfect excuse. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. If I had known there would be so many hot guys here, I would have shaved from the knees up. Or the chin down. <laughs> All these uniforms are throwing off my dar. Like, is that guy standing like that because of his nightstick? <laughs> or his nightstick? <laughs> Stay tuned. Hi, Jared. Put your wife on the phone. Oh, hi, Vonky. <laughs> Listen, I just want you to know that I'm going to win that scavenger hunt this year, and I mean actually win it, without help from the Russians. <laughs> Losing your sphincter, Jared. I didn't know you were still on the line. Back to the kids. Oh, I am so glad Will didn't come to the wedding. It would have killed him to see Vince so happy. Ryan seems like a really great guy. Really? I do not see that. <laughs> Quick question, fellas. What's your favorite TV show of all time? The Wire. Wire? The Wire. This is us. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi. you not to come. How many times do we have to have the fight where we realize I'm always right before you realize I'm always right? We were together for five years. I think you'd be hurt if I didn't show up. Oh, please, you're here to hawk him for answers about your breakup. I'm not here to hawk. I would never hawk. I'm not a hawker. <laughs> Look, I, I, I just, I need closure, Grace. I need to find out why he broke up with me. You don't. It's two minutes of his time. What could possibly go wrong in two minutes? Ask every girl who ever got pregnant at her prom. 